I still can't understand how Misha Serkinov makes middleweight. Yeah. It's it's crazy. So he, his record is fifteen and seven, um, and Wellington Terman, his opponent, his record is seventeen and five. Average fight time for Serkinov is considerably shorter, but he has had a few losses as well, which have been first rounders. Six foot three, so he's got a three inch height advantage and a a, a five inch reach advantage. He's a big dude. He's got great submissions. He's he's got incredibly strong grappling you know he's a he's a i think he's going to be able to manhandle Terman. I, I was surprised that he struggled so much against uh jocko to be honest i expected him to be able to throw jocko around my only concern is that this is not the right weight class for him and it's a solution to losing at light heavyweight yeah because he, he moved down was it his last fight that he moved down to yeah jocko yeah. was his debut yeah and i thought that because Wellington Terman's got a good grappling background as well, right? Mm -hmm. So I think if if he can manage Serkinov, I mean Serkinov's a beast, so it would be tough. But if he can manage the the grappling and and submission attacks of of Mish, uh, Serkinov, he might be able to like out outwork him over yeah. the distance, have a bit of a better conditioning, and yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think if he's going to do that, he's going to have to grapple with him because, like, Jocko wasn't able to slow him down. If anything, Misha exhausted himself a little bit trying to grapple with Jocko. So, like, if Terman's if Terman's smart in the first round, he'll clinch him and he'll grapple with him and he'll start fast because Serkinov doesn't seem to respond well to fast first rounders. Start fast, put it on him, you know, force him to wrestle even if you're not successful with your wrestling, and try and wear him out. I, there was so much muscle mass on Misha Serkinov when he was fighting at light heavyweight, and when he when I, when he was at uh, middleweight against Jocko, it looks like he's just he's had to lose muscle mass to get down in weight. Like with Jared Cannonier, I think he probably gained a bit of muscle mass coming down because he had a lot of body fat to lose, and as he lost it, he got physically stronger as well. Misha didn't have any weight to lose. So it looks like he's just shredded his frame and yeah. it looks like he's lost a lot of muscle off his back. Like, that was the thing to me. His shoulder blades look really fucking Yeah, I odd. noticed that. It's just all like kind of sucked in. Yeah. Yeah, sucked in a little bit. Like, I, I always remembered how, how like heavily muscled his lats and his back were. Like when he was standing, he, was, he looked like he had a turtle shell on. He was so well-rounded and that seems to have just gone. So you've got to wonder what he's put himself through to get into this weight class, like how much he's starved himself and how much muscle mass he's lost and what he's walking around at. Because his, his body's probably used to being 220. So like now to force it down to 185, it's going to be fighting against that whenever he's not dieting. So he, he might look at a chicken breast and put on two pounds of muscle and that's got to come off he's making 280 yeah. at 185. I would have been interested to see a, De a DEXA scan of him as a light heavyweight and as a middleweight i'd like to see some stats to see if it was the right move because i'm I, I, don't, I don't think he looked healthy against jocko no i thought i think he can be effective but then he's that limited by the length of the fight like if he gets into the top 10 or the top five in middleweight and then starts getting five rounders how does he deal with five round conditioning how much is he sapping himself that's the way in for wellington Terman is to force him to work and test that that's that would be my confidence if I was him, but I feel like this is a fight that's within uh, Misha Serkinov's capability. Even if he's not the strongest at, at, at middleweight, I think he might. Uh, I think he might decision him. Yeah, I had Terman mm. just for the reason of he's the more natural middleweight, and I think conditioning wise, if he can avoid the the power and choking of uh, Serkinov. Yeah. He might just be able to to outlast him and maybe pick him off a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he has a couple of a couple of submissions on his record, rear naked chokes and stuff, guillotines. There might be an option. There might be an option for Terman in this fight to, to get a submission because Serkinov does kind of his mind does kind of go a little bit when when the fight's not going. I mean, look at the size of him on his topology page. Jesus, <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, he's he's had he's had a, a really rough run. Like when he came into the UFC, people were so excited for him. They they really thought he was going to be a, a nightmare for everyone. And then he went, what, he got first round ground and pound against Dan, Daniel Jolly. Then he snapped Alex Nicholson's jaw, like literally snapped it. You can see him cranking it and he just... Yeah, exactly. And then he yeah. taps real quick. I think he had a fracture in his jaw and he just... 
crushed it. Kutalaba subbed him. Krilov subbed him. I mean, you know, Krilov's fighting Paul Craig next. You know, he, he's a difficult individual. But then he lost to Ozdemir and Glover Teixeira. Beat Pat Cummins, who's a you know a, a real strong wrestler. Lost to Johnny Walker, who you know who doesn't get caught with Johnny by Johnny Walker in his first few fights. And then a win over Jimmy Crute, which gets better and better. Yeah, that was every, wicked. Yeah, I really nice. Idea. And Peruvian necktie as well. He's a it's a, a, a very interesting submission to get. We don't see him very often in the UFC. Don't no, see it's him very cool. often. It's like it's between their legs, isn't it? It's like yeah, over, but, yeah, yeah. You you cut you go around an arm and a leg, but you have like a long grip, and then you you kind of sit on the back of their head and pull your arms through your thighs, mm. and it kind of it's like a guillotine. It's like a literally like it like it like a like an actual guillotine it like slices them it's, it's a beautiful submission really difficult to get though yeah i'm picking zirkanov yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with with Terman. Oh, yeah. yeah yeah i sat next to him at ufc zagreb um zirkanov real nice dude but he has his whole bottom row of teeth are like i don't know whether they're silver or white gold or something makes him look like a bond villain <laughs> it really does make him look like a bond villain yeah his name is a bit like Bond mm. villain henchman. He's Lithuanian, isn't he? I think he's. I think is it Lithuania, but he fights out of uh, Canada or Latvia. Sorry, Latvia. Yeah, because he, he boy is it ex, Extreme Couture Toronto. Toronto. Yeah, yeah. I don't know who trains there. Mm. I don't know who trains there. That's the other thing as well. Sometimes they just don't have the right training partners around. He might be dominating everybody in the gym. Yeah, but you know, it's not always the same when you're fighting. 